Inside the dome is a power supply bracket. There is a silver screw that holds it down. Loosen the screw but do not remove it and open the bracket as Thread the cable through your mounting arm and through the inch and a half diameter pipe thread at the top. Secure the mounting arm with the set screw and make sure the cables are available to be plugged into the power supply board in the next step. Plug in the three pigtail You want to tie wrap the pigtail to the interior black metal structure as a strain relief. Trim off any excess of the tie wrap. And you want to read the out the heater cable up through the black uh, bracket on the side of the dome. In this step, you will be closing the bracket with the power supply board. You want to make sure that that spring is centered where it will be bent and be very difficult to close. Make sure the heater wire stays inside that bracket as you close the door. And then you secure it by turning that silver screw. Uh, sometimes a screwdriver will help get it secure quicker. Here's where we start the assembly of the dome window. There is a stainless steel coiled safety chain that needs to be attached to the black bracket on the inside using a Phillips screwdriver and the included black screw. The uh, tension on the coiled wire does make it a little bit of a challenge. It's a lot easier when the camera is mounted. The second step of this process is to plug in the white heater wires into the red and black heater wires. And the connector is keyed, so pay attention to the keys. This is step seven. We're going to be installing the camera module into the dome. Notice there's a connector and two posts. the two posts and the connector lines up. You want to push it in until you get a good solid click from both latching paws. Remove the lens cover, very important. In this step we will be using the four Allen head screws with the black washers. 
you put everything together. You want to make sure you don't pinch any wires. Very easy to do that, so you need to be very cautious. If you're installing this outdoor, you want to pre-install some silicone grease onto the O-ring on the dome portion of this. When I install them, I put them in loose until I get them all installed, all the screws inserted and loosely fastened. And then once they're all lined up, I tighten them down. You could use a power driver, but you run the risk of pulling the heads off the screw heads. And this will finish the assembly process.